Hi guys, my name is Coach Shadogs the Born, but built for theme park news, and welcome to a Halloween update from Toverland. This is the Halloween uh, event for 2020. Now, despite the coronavirus pandemic, Toverland is going ahead with restrictions in place for their Halloween event, and involved in that is a brand new horror attraction in an unknown location. So, we've got some details on all of that. And uh, share my thoughts on it basically. So before we get started guys, make sure you like the video if you loved it. Comment down below your thoughts. Subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Got another update coming uh, from Silverwood Theme Park, which I've just recorded in fact. Uh, that'll be coming uh, this evening, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Uh, make sure you go into the description down below at the end of this video. Which you can follow my Instagram, my Twitter, my Snapchat and my brand new TikTok, as well as the sports journalism channel called Chell, which is my second channel, all the links in the description down below for that, as well as the link down below for where you can find the information that's read off in this video. Uh, make sure you're sending your merchandise pitch, because in a few days' time we're going to be uh, doing a merchandise video, so make sure you go send them in. Of course, I'll share five pieces of my own merchandise. And for now, guys, let's get into talking about Toverland Halloween because this new attraction for 2020 sounds epic. So, according to Loopings, the European news source where the information resides from, despite the corona crisis, Toverland will be doing a lot this Halloween this fall. During the popular Halloween nights, the Limburg Amusement Park presents a brand new haunted house, Maison de la Magie. The experience, which will last approximately 15 minutes, costs €7.50 per person. In an as yet unknown location, uh, the official uh, sort of description states, the stately mansion of the world famous illusionist Oscar Pendula. He disappeared from the scene in the 1930s when one of his illusions went horribly wrong. Daredevils embark on a terrifying voyage of discovery into its dark secrets. So, for the first time, separate tickets are required for a Halloween experience in Toberland. Uh, tickets for the Mysterious Haunted House can be booked through the park's website, and season ticket holders pay €6 Euros instead of €7.50. Euros and now they warn the capacity is limited. Now, the existing Haunted House Fear the Woods will be relocated. Previously, the pick pitch dark haunted house was built in the mystique event room part of the covered wonderworld themed section this year the horror attraction moves to a large tent on the lawn behind the port laguna entrance area now a spokesperson said we have more space there that is the reason the walkthrough experience the witch's forest presented last year's return as it does so the horror maze trapped and the scare zones shadow of the sea des troy and fiesta de los muertos Two scare zones are going to be given a brand new look. A real cakewalk appears in the circus area, Cirque Royal Edition. And the Avalon themed area is home to Morgana's Frozen Nights, where visitors compete with Ice Witch Morgana and her Ice Knights. Now, contrary to a previous year's, Funhouse Villa Fiasco will not be part of the Halloween offer. Normally, the attraction is transformed into a haunted house at night. However, now this is from the information officer. Uh, we do not have enough space in Corona time to build a large queue there in a responsible and qualitative way. The attraction therefore remains open without adjustments. The number of Halloween evenings has been considerably expanded. So in 2019 we had 8 Halloween nights on the programme. This year there's no fewer than 14. So that's a very good change from the park. And that is why all, one also needs more actors. So Tovlan uses 120 scare actors. But last year, there was just over 100, so there's more scare actors this year. Uh, now, promises are being made by the park to take the national corona rules into account. So, of course, their rules over there um, in Europe, in their country, groups must keep five feet apart at all times. One-way traffic is used in scare zones to promote traffic flow. And the traditional parade and final show have been cancelled, so that's very important to note. Now, the event will take place between October 9th and November 7th. Toverland is open during Halloween nights until 11pm and Maison de la Magie and Fear the Woods are accessible from 3pm onwards. The other Halloween activities start at 7pm. So that is all the details on Toverland's Halloween and now it's time to share my thoughts on the whole event. So there we go. That is a look at the Toverland event. It's good to see some returning stuff, some fresh new looks. And uh, the main reason for this video is talk about the brand new haunted house, Maison de la Magie. Uh, now this is, like I say, it's, it's an old sort of haunted house based on this illusionist when one of his tricks in the 30s went wrong. Daredevils embarked to try and look through this house. 
and you know it's going to have some very good surprises. So uh, first of all, congrats to Toverland and well done for you know sticking with the rules of the coronavirus crisis over there in in Europe, and you know sticking to the rules that the country's put in place. Um, so you know, good to see the park sticking to those rules. The one-way traffic, the five feet apart over there, that's their rule. And um, you know, just just sticking with it. And I'm sure there'll be loads of hand sanitizer stations around the park as well. Um, and the fact they're going ahead with the Halloween event this year, you know, it, it fair play to them for sticking with the rules as much as possible and going ahead with the event this year. Uh, now the sound. Now talk about the uh, the sound of this brand new haunted house, this brand new maze, uh, Maze on Della Magie. I love the sound of this. Now seven euros fifty. Um, or six euros for season pass holders. Is that too much? Comment down below. I think I think translated to pounds, it translates to what I think seven euro fifty is something like what eight quid, something like that. I'm not too sure. Um, then obviously six euros is near around to the seven euros for for season pass holders. So uh, you know, is it too much? Comment down below your thoughts on that, uh, as well as your thoughts on the maze. I showed you a couple of concept arts for the uh, the maze as well, a promotional image and the concept look of uh, one of the haunted houses uh, as well. So you know, comment down below your thoughts on that as well. But I think from the, I'm not too sure actually. Seven euro fifty is you know too expensive. Uh, six euros for season pass holders. Obviously, it's a discount by one euro fifty. Uh, but you know, it, it, it should be interesting to see what people think about that. Uh, but the actual sound of the maze, it sounds very mystical and quite you know weird and unique. Um, and it's got this, and again, it feels like an illusionist horror maze. I think there's going to be some. I think with it being themed to an illusionist, I think that you know we could expect some jump scares, but we could also expect maybe some some magical horror maybe some tricks like some magical tricks for horror up there and they sort of work with a company that you know that, that's used to magic and they sort of get them involved with the horror aspects so um you know that'll be a nice surprise to see some maybe horror magical tricks in there um as effects and jump scares and things like that so it should be interesting to see what kind of things we expect to see in this brand new horror, horror house this haunted house um but again, share your thoughts on it. But I think my opinion, like overall, I think it looks and sounds like a brilliant, you know, new horror attraction. Obviously, Fear the Woods, that's coming back. So uh, obviously, we'll have some good stuff from there. Um, obviously, some of the new stuff coming in with the new scare zones, the new look attractions. So obviously, you know, that's very good as well. Fiasco, of course, not coming back uh, and not being reimagined for the Halloween season. So that's going to stay as it is uh, without any adjustments. Um... You know, and Toverland really are pushing with this event. So don't forget, you can check out the web, the information that I've just read off for yourself. Links in the description down below for that. You'll know where it is uh, if you look in the description. And um, yeah, basically, you can see, you can you look at that website. You can look at the details on the event. And you can, uh, I, I think there should be a link on there to get to the Toverland website. If not, go to the Toverland website and uh, book your tickets for Halloween. So there we go. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this Halloween update from Toverland Halloween 2020. Like I said, very exciting to see it going ahead. And fair play to the part for sticking to the corona rules uh, that we have in place in Europe. So there we go. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this Halloween update. Make sure you like the video, comment down your thoughts, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the second channel for sports journalism in the description down below, along with my Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and TikTok. Uh, all in the description down below. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Shell, Donkster the Born, but built for theme park news. Keep living the coastal life, and I'll see you guys in the next video for another spectacular day. Cheers, have a, have a good one. <laughs>